liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. How do you work out in space when there's no gravity and your weights are, well, weightless? We went behind the scenes at NASA's Johnson Space Center to find out. Since even the heaviest dumbbells would float in space, NASA scientists designed this. It's the Advanced Resistive Exerciser Device, or ARED. ARED uses vacuum cylinders to provide resistance so that astronauts can do squats and bench press when they're in space. As for cardio exercise, you have to be strapped down to this treadmill on the space station. This is the Combined Operational Load-Bearing External Resistance Treadmill, or Colbert for short. I had to wear this really tight harness to attach me to the treadmill. Exercise is crucial to an astronaut's health, especially for this astronaut. This is Scott Kelly, who's on the space station right now. He's the first American to embark on a year-long mission to space. Microgravity uh, provides a lot of uh, difficulties for us in space. It also makes some things easier. But one of the uh, major impacts it has is the uh, effect on our bodies, specifically with regards to the loss of uh, bone mass and muscle mass. Scott's doctor, Dr. Steve Gilmore, is keeping a close eye on him to make sure that Scott sticks to a very strict exercise schedule. You're scheduled for um, six out of seven days of the week, and it's a, sort of a, if you will, weightlifting and um, cardio um, program to kind of help keep their fitness level up and then also um, keep their muscle strength uh, sort of similar to where it was when they left. Some astronauts go far beyond this schedule. In 2007, NASA astronaut Sunita Williams ran the Boston Marathon from the space station. And in 2012, she completed the Malibu Triathlon using weights to simulate swimming. One of the cool things you could do, you could do things that you can't do at home. For example, single leg squats with just one leg, because the other leg, you won't fall over. Dr. Gilmore says the newer exercise machines make a difference. The equipment's been upgraded, and um, my sort of qualitative assessment of that and how it affects crews is they seem to look better to me as they've been coming back. Even at 250 miles above the planet, there's no getting away from exercise. For DallasNews.com, I'm Dr. Seema Yasmin.